Hey, 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 everybody. How's all my Fortniters out there? Doing good? All right. So, tonight, it's not going to be a real long video. Kind of short, I hope. But you know how I am. Um, but the world that I'm entering is not my world. Uh, it's a friend of mine's. It's a wild cards world. And, uh, I built him a couple bases. I built one in his grasslands um, and one in the frostlands for him on the Star Wars island. I'm not real sure which one I'm going to spawn into. Uh, I can't really remember, but uh, I just wanted to kind of showcase the builds that I built for him, show you all. Now, he ha he's the one that done all the settings in the world. Um, he had changed them and made it so we could fly and turned hunger off and stuff because I was building only. Like, the only thing I was doing was there to build. And that way I didn't have to uh, continuously eat, you know, and worry about uh, getting killed and this and that or whatever. Also... I got the new, I went ahead and, alright, so I spawned in at the Frostlands. Um, yeah, so he still has the fly mode and stuff on. Okay, hang on just one second. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, we will... We'll go to the Grasslands Village first. And I'll show you it. Maybe. If I can remember where it's at. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Whoa. Ah, spoiler alert. Yeah, here it is. Alright, so this is the Grasslands uh, Fortress that I built for him. That's what the outside of it looks like. Then, you know, come on around here. Yeah. That side of it. Right. Now, let's go in it here. So, when you go in. You have, you walk in, there's a little courtyard like here. And I bought, you know, made it where you could kind of see everything. But then this is where he put his animals at. And you go in here, and this is, you know, this is supposed to be kind of like the storage and the work area for the villagers and stuff. I got this storage in here. Now we haven't, uh, we haven't put all the chest and stuff in here yet, mainly because he didn't have the resources, because this is a survival world. Um, he just changed it so we could fly and turn some of the settings off while I was building. This is going to be full of chest for storage. And then, of course, you know, you got your workbench, stone breaker. And I did leave a few things uh, that was already here. 
when we first started and then this is storage he's added these chests since the last time I was here and it just kind of circles around and then you come back out you know into the courtyard here so but if you go in and this is the only way in or out you have to come in this courtyard and come up these steps to get in to the main part so once you come up um, I kind of decorated a little bit here uh, this is kind of like a storage locker I just put a bunch of you know storage in here uh, as you walk by if you're really not paying attention you just kind of look in there it looks like walls like a room you know empty room or whatever that door brings you outside to walk around and you know defend the fortress if need be then you got a door there and then you have another door here all right so you come in there and all we done was make a big you know circle around and then this right here is the bedrooms so you have this bedroom this bedroom then you come down this bedroom now this room actually leads out and I done that I wasn't going to make it a room but I decided to you know double way in whatever man my internet must it's either my internet or this world is so full it's lagging bad so here's another bedroom another bedroom bedroom and then just a little hangout room now this is my hangout area and this is my room and of course it's not decorated because you know i just made it my room while i was uh building and stuff but it is my room i just my bed's there if i want to spawn and then this is the kitchen area here uh, I put this here you know kind of hang out set watch the chef cook they can bring you food eat and if you don't want to set at the countertop then Well, huh, that's a first. I'm home. Can't break it with that. That's the first time I've ever sat down in there, and I get home. Yeah. Well, I guess I should have built that a little better. Didn't know. Now I do. anyway I won't make that mistake again so here's the little seating area and then you come over here and that way you know you can kind of see out to the courtyard whatever 
Then you come out here, you have an open view of the courtyard overlooking the mountains there. And then you come in here. I told him he can make this room, you know, kind of whatever he wanted to make it. And then he can come up here. And this is another, you know, defend the fortress area. And if we come over here and oh. And here is kind of like another little hangout area. And then if you come upstairs, this is another like kind of waiting area, or I guess you could say. And then here's the bathroom for the master. This is kind of like the master bath for the whole uh, fortress. And then of course you come out here where the grassland trophies are placed. Overlooking it, you look at the lake, and in the background, you've got the mountains. So, just just a cool little, you know, uh, grassland build village that I did for him. So, I just wanted to kind of show you all, you know. Now, let's go look at the big build. And as you, as we get close, you see it starting to render in. This is his Frostland castle build. Now... On this one, I used the Lion Knight, and I also used the new uh, Salty Sea Pirate Walls and Spikes to make it, you know, just look kind of fortified since it is supposed to be a castle in the Frostlands, you know, kind of old style, you know, uh, And I, <clears throat> I took the wall and I surrounded it the whole. Uh, actually, I went outside the uh, village lines a little bit with the wall. And, you know, that way uh, we could make a big castle. Use just, you know, try to use the whole village area pretty much to build the castle in. And you know, you saw when you walked around, there's a couple entrances, you know, different ways in. At just about everywhere, there's a door to get out of the wall. There's a door <clears throat> to get into the castle. And you come in, and it's the same, same kind of concept. I went with the, uh, you know, the open courtyard everything's kind of overlooking the courtyard that's just so this is you know um, I told wildcard that he could make this whatever he wanted to make it I didn't like I built the castle and told him to decorate it build it however he wanted it um, two I would have to say to date this is probably the biggest it's probably the biggest like build that I have done so far especially like dividing it now in my survival world I've got a bunch of prefab buildings and they're like you know I might have I think in one of them I've got like Eight or, t eight or nine buildings but they're all prefabs and this one is pure custom build you know I started we just kind of he picked the spot and I started building so um, here this was 
going to be like the work area. That's why I left all this stuff in here for him. You know, make this kind of like the work room and stuff. Now, this, I told him he could make this the storage room because it's kind of a secret entrance like deal. If you don't come, like if you don't come into this room, if you just kind of walk by, you really can't. You know, if you're just kind of walking by, not really paying attention, you know. Uh, let's see. Oh, so this, a way out because there's a door back there. And this is actually another way out, but it just goes down a big old long hallway. And then there's the outside. So this is just a big old long hallway. And the storage room would be on the other side of this wall. then come in here and now that I am actually walking around I realize that I did not knock the floor out where I was supposed to to get to this floor there was supposed to be a set of steps in this room right here yeah that was my mistake so you actually get to see me fix this real quick Tucked away, hidden. Now, this right here, you know, like, this goes to show you that I just kind of build on the fly. I don't never have a, <clears throat> I don't never really have, a, like, a, a set plan, I guess you could say, you know. Most people's like, oh, yeah, it's going to be, you know, this or that. And I just kind of build on the fly. So, now that I fixed the steps to get up here, we'll take a little gander around. Alright, so here's the overlooking the courtyard and then it's just completely open he's free to do whatever he pleases in here you know it's just an open space with steps to go to different parts of the castle he you know and then this will be this is one of the guard towers this is the first guard tower that you've seen Second guard tower is this one right here. This is the second tower. go up to this floor and this takes you to the this little area which is behind 
the first tower and it has a little bridgeway you can walk out here and I figured norm you know I figured he could put in one of those uh, either a launch pad or uh, the pressure plate with the balloon right here and that way he can launch you know and pretty much get to anywhere on the map All right. then we'll go back down And then we take, let's see, take this, and it brings you to this little area right here. It brings you to right here. And then you can slip right through there, and it brings you to this area overlooking the courtyard and it goes all the way around and then here is the steps to actually get up there that little that little secret passageway over there it was you know I just kind of put that there in case you were being in a hurry trying to outrun a bandit you know if the castle was to get invaded and you went up them that set of steps over here right here the four tier steps you was to run up it and they think that they've got you cornered right through there and then you can either go the courtyard jump down or come around and go back down this way And then you come up here and this is the final this is the final room right here um, now that little area right there I did not it's just kind of dead space um, but then you have this open area here where you can you know see the the mountains you can kind of look around and see out of and then if you go up these set of steps right here it takes you up here to where I put the you know the trophy on this side with the flags and I figured he would put him you know another jump pad or uh, a pressure plate with a balloon there and he would be able to you know go whichever way he would like you know whichever way he really wants to go so but yeah, I would have to say this is probably my biggest build to date, um, just because it's a uh, custom built castle, you know, uh, I didn't go all crazy and I just used, you know, pieces that I had, but now a lot of the pieces that are in this build are bought pieces, um, and they came from the Lion Knights castle now some of them did come from the Majestic Manors uh, I think you yeah you get that that's a free set um, but most of them is the Lion Knight build and the Salty Seaport uh, builds so but now the log cabin you know the the other one in the grasslands it is all free build i used everything pretty much free on it but that's it that's the big castle build that i made for uh wild card in his world here and um you know he he said he liked it i think it's uh you know i think it's pretty cool that's how come i wanted to showcase it to you all um, I went with the, uh, you know, the whole inside of it is kind of closed, but everything kind of high up, I left open, and it's because it's higher than the walls, and that way, you know, you can actually attack and fight if you're, uh, you know, if it was to become under attack, you know, 
I guess once you've been playing the game for so long, you just have to kind of start thinking of ways, you know, to make it a little more fun. And, um, you know, this is kind of one way that we came up with to, I guess, you know, have some fun with it or whatever. Now, you can actually almost see the other... Uh, yeah, you can actually. You get about halfway right here, and you can see both. So there they are. You know. Now, like I said, this is uh, Wild Cards World. It's not mine, so I just wanted to showcase everybody and show you all what I had built for him and his world. So. Thank y'all for hanging out. I hope to catch you on the next one. And as always, if you like the content, you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on so you know every time that I post a new video. And hit the like button and I'll keep the content coming. And I cannot wait to catch you on the next one and hopefully... We'll be going uh, a live stream and uh, we'll bring y'all on a big journey uh, with live stream. So y'all stay good. I'll catch you later.